a dog suddenly finds itself face to face with dinosaurs. Would it rely on its intelligence to survive, or could it form unexpected alliances? In a world ruled by giants, the outcome might be more surprising than you think. Before we drop our dog into the dinosaur world, we first need to choose the best time period for it to face. And while we do that, think about which dog breed you believe would stand the best chance. In the Triassic period, even though dinosaurs were smaller, the world was mostly dry with vast deserts, making it tough for a dog to find water and food. In the Cretaceous period, the dog would face the most aggressive dinosaurs, needing to outsmart or avoid them entirely to survive. And the Jurassic period is when dinosaurs truly dominated. The dog would have to navigate dense forests and evade powerful carnivores, but the varied landscape and creatures offer better chances for survival. That's why we're placing our dog in the Jurassic period. Now that we understand the challenges of the Jurassic world, it's time to choose the best breed for the job. We need a dog that embodies all the traits necessary for survival. Intelligence, agility, strength, and a natural instinct to survive in the wild. It also must have the social intelligence to form alliances with other creatures. The breed we've chosen is known for its exceptional intelligence, loyalty, and physical capabilities. The German Shepherd. Yeah, you weren't chosen for this episode, but don't get too comfortable. Your turn is coming. We'll be focusing on five main factors to determine the dog's chances in the world of dinosaurs. Climate and terrain challenges, skills and instincts, food sources, predator threats, and finally, potential allies and relationships. Spoiler alert, things will get really interesting here. After each factor, we'll be putting the dog on a survival scale ranging from red to green, with red meaning it's tough to survive and green meaning it's easier to make it. Then at the end, we'll look at the overall picture and see where the German Shepherd falls on the scale for its chances to survive in the Jurassic period. Climate and terrain challenges. Climate in the Jurassic period? Think warm, tropical vibes with temperatures hanging out between 68 and 86 Fahrenheit. Sounds nice for a vacation, but for a German Shepherd, it's not exactly a beach day. The air is thick with humidity, making it feel like a sauna out there. The dog's double coat, which is fantastic for winter walks, would be like wearing a fur coat in the middle of summer. Definitely not ideal. Overheating could be a real issue. And with all the rain, the dog might find itself constantly damp, which could lead to some serious bad hair days, and more importantly, skin problems. Now let's talk terrain. Dense forests are everywhere, offering lots of places to hide, but they're not exactly easy to run through. Finding a spot to cool down would be tough, and if the dog gets out of the woods, it's onto rocky plains and rugged landscapes. The ground is uneven, and there are steep climbs that would test any dog's endurance. But hey, if any breed can handle it, it's the German Shepherd. This dog's got the strength and stamina to push through, even if the conditions are challenging. For the survival scale in this first factor, we'll put our dog closer to orange. It's definitely challenging, but not impossible with the right effort. Skills and Instincts When it comes to surviving in the Jurassic period, a German Shepherd has some serious skills to lean on. This breed is known for its intelligence, which means it can quickly learn and adapt to new situations. Its keen sense of smell and sharp hearing would be vital for detecting danger long before it arrives. Imagine a dog picking up the scent of a predator or hearing the distant rustle of a dinosaur moving through the forest. Then, there's a dog's protective instincts and bravery. This is a dog that's not afraid to stand its ground. In the Jurassic period, these instincts could help it fend off smaller predators or keep it alert to threats. But bravery can be a double-edged sword. Sometimes knowing when to run is the better strategy, especially when facing something as dangerous as a velociraptor. The dog's agility and speed would also be crucial, helping it navigate quickly through dense forests or rocky terrain. On the survival scale for this factor, we'll place our dog closer to green. Considering that these skills give our dog a strong chance to navigate the challenges. Food sources. In the Jurassic period, finding food would be a whole new ball game for a German Shepherd. It's all about hunting, scavenging, and adapting to what's available. The good news is that this breed has a strong prey drive and excellent hunting instincts. It would likely rely on its keen senses to track down smaller prey, such as primitive mammals or even large insects, which were abundant during this time. Scavenging would also play a big role in survival. With so many large predators around, there would be plenty of carcasses left behind after a dinosaur feast. The German Shepherd could use its sharp nose to sniff out these opportunities, making the most of every meal. However, this comes with its own risks, as a dog would be competing with other scavengers and getting too close to larger predators who might not appreciate a dog poking around their leftovers. 
But the biggest challenge would be adapting to a diet that's very different from what the German Shepherd is used to. There's also the possibility of encountering plants or animals that could be harmful if ingested, making every meal a potential risk. On the survival scale for this factor, we'll place our dog around yellow, as it's a mixed bag. Predator Threats The Jurassic period is teeming with predators, and a German Shepherd would be far from the top of the food chain. From the swift and cunning Velociraptor to the massive and terrifying Allosaurus, the threats are constant and overwhelming. These predators are equipped with sharp claws, powerful jaws, and hunting strategies perfected over millions of years, making them formidable opponents for any animal, let alone a domesticated dog. However, the German Shepherd isn't completely defenseless. Its keen senses of smell and hearing would allow it to avoid some confrontations before they even start and its agility and speed would also be crucial in escaping from fast-moving predators or finding cover. But when it comes to direct confrontation, the German Shepherd's size and strength, impressive as they are for a dog, pale in comparison to the sheer power of Jurassic predators. A face-off with a dinosaur would likely end in the predator's favor. But it's not all doom and gloom. Despite the dangers, there's a strong chance the German Shepherd could make some unexpected friends among the dinosaurs, and we'll dive deeper into these potential allies in the next and final factor. On the survival scale for this one, we'll place our dog closer to red. The threat level is extremely high. Potential allies and relationships. While the Jurassic period is full of dangers, not every creature would be an enemy. The German Shepherd's natural social intelligence and loyalty could help it form unexpected alliances with certain dinosaurs, turning potential threats into valuable allies. Herbivorous dinosaurs like the Stegosaurus or the Brachiosaurus, though massive and imposing, are generally non-aggressive. These gentle giants might not see the German Shepherd as a threat and could even tolerate its presence, especially if the dog proves useful in detecting predators or helping to protect their young. Imagine the dog trotting alongside a group of Brachiosaurus, its tail wagging as it plays a game of follow the leader with the towering giants. These kinds of cute, unexpected moments could be a regular part of life for a dog that learns to fit in with its prehistoric friends. The dinosaurs might even develop a soft spot for the dog, allowing it to rest in the shade of their massive bodies or playfully nudging it with their tails. Additionally, smaller social dinosaurs like the Hypsilophodon could become potential companions, darting around trees and rocks in a game of prehistoric tag. The dog, with its sharp instincts and boundless energy, would find joy in these interactions. These games and moments of companionship could help both species stay alert to danger while providing a much-needed break from the constant stress of living in a world full of predators. Of course, forming these alliances wouldn't be without its challenges. The German Shepherd would need to earn the trust of these dinosaurs, proving it's not a threat and showing that it can contribute to the group's safety. But with its natural charm, intelligence, and loyalty, this dog could pull it off, turning the dangerous Jurassic World into a little less lonely and a lot more fun. On the survival scale for this factor, we'll place our dog closer to green as these alliances and the moments of play could be the key to thriving in the Jurassic world. Now that we've placed our German Shepherd on the survival scale for each factor, it's time to combine these ratings to get a final survival score. Given the mixed challenges and strengths, the German Shepherd lands around yellow. This means survival in the Jurassic world would be tough, but not entirely out of reach especially with those potential dinosaur friendships. But let's not stop here. What if other dog breeds were thrown into the Jurassic era? Could a smaller, more adorable breed like a Golden Retriever make its place between dinosaurs? Drop your ideas in the comments and let us know what other breed or animal you'd like us to put in a fictional situation. And if you enjoy this journey through time, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more thought-provoking content.